You know, it's great to be able to come to work every day just walking out my back door to my workshop and back of my house. Here in my workshop, I build a lot of custom acoustic and electric guitars. I tend to build more unusual instruments that nobody else will build. I started out playing the guitar when I was 16. Uh, I went to school for engineering and uh, I just had a lot of curiosity about how things are made and when I played the guitar I would look at it and try to figure out how is this instrument made? How do they build this thing? And so I went to the library and got a book and uh, told you about how to build guitars. So I uh, decided to build myself a guitar. It's about everything we encounter in our lives from from the day we're born to the box we're buried in is is made on an assembly line in a factory. Uh, there are very few items that you actually come in contact with anymore that are actually handmade. Uh, especially custom made uh, and something like a guitar which is such a personal object it's, it's really an extension of your body and it's something that you use to express your your creativity with and so to have something like that built custom for you uh, is a very unique experience for most people uh, and the, the guitar itself um, often gets handed down to the next generation and uh, becomes an heirloom. So when you really look at it, the cost of ownership of uh, even a fine handmade instrument uh, really works out to just pennies a day for the, all the enjoyment and enrichment you get out of it. One of the things I really like to do is taking a big chunk of wood and cutting it up and gradually making a guitar out of it. Uh, that's the way many of these guitars are made, just from big blocks of old wood, uh, sometimes even firewood. I uh, cut it up and, and get some really beautiful pieces of wood and, and cut it and sand it and uh, after a few months of work, it becomes a, a singing musical instrument. The tree uh, sings once again, I guess you could say.